Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Dream 3D. In this video we will be showing you how to import a set of images that represent a 3D structure and segmenting the data and generating some statistics on those segmented features. With Dream 3D already running be sure to have a new pipeline ready to go. First we're going to look for the ITK import images filter. After we add that to the pipeline we need to set the input parameters so that the filter understands how to load our data. First we need to select the input directory that holds our images. For this tutorial we're going to use the example data that comes with Dream 3D and is located in the data slash image directory. Once Dream 3D does an initial scan of the directory it will attempt to guess at a file naming pattern. If it does not succeed it will be up to the user to set the various values. For instance Dream 3D was able to figure out that the images all start with a slice underscore so it used that as the prefix. It did not find any suffix, so we'll leave that blank, and we're going to read TIFF images. Our images start at index 11 and go through and including index 174. There are no padding digits, so we leave that set at 2. We could optionally rename the created data container, attribute matrix, and image data, but we're going to keep the default values. Next, we will add the Threshold Objects filter. With this filter, we will be thresholding the black areas of each image by masking out everything else. We set a threshold value of image data equals zero so that only the black pixels are selected. Next, we add the Segment Features Scalar filter so that the black pixel areas can have unique feature IDs associated with them. We place a scalar tolerance of zero and select to use Mask Array. After selecting the appropriate input arrays, we are finished. Note how the data browser shows the newly added data arrays and attribute matrix. Now that we have our pores segmented out, we can find their average size by adding the Find Feature Sizes filter. This filter will calculate the number of elements of the geometry that makes up the feature. In addition, it will calculate the volume and equivalent diameter of each feature. Looking at the data structure widget, Note in the cell feature data attribute matrix how the newly created arrays are shown. When we want to visualize the 3D reconstruction, we will want to color by the size of the pore. In order to do this, we need to create a new cell level array based on the data from the feature level array so that each voxel has the value of the equivalent diameter for the feature that it belongs to. We add the create element array from feature array filter to the pipeline and set the input arrays appropriately. We are going to select our feature IDs and the array to copy into the cell attribute matrix. Lastly, we insert the write Dream 3D data file filter into the pipeline and set an output file. When all is ready, we execute the pipeline and after the pipeline is complete, we open the resulting XDMF file using Paraview. Inside of Paraview, we load the XDMF file. We immediately apply Paraview's threshold filter on the equivalent diameter data ranging from a minimum of 1 to whatever the max value is. Click the Apply button, and we can now see all of the pores from the data set where the largest pores are shown in the default red color. There are many other statistics that could be calculated for this data set, including histograms for the equivalent diameter and other interesting data points. Dream 3D offers a wealth of data analysis filters to help you explore your data. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on importing and analyzing a 3D data set.